Hello friend, welcome to the channel Pharmacy Dictionary. In today's lecture video, we are going to discuss about the another route of drug administration under systemic route and that is cutaneous route of drug administration and we will see their advantage and few limitation with the help of representative diagram and live demonstration. First of all, let me clear you what is the meaning of cutaneous route of drug administration. As you know, meaning of route of drug administration is that we have to introduce that drug via any specific route or path or pathways. So in this case of cutaneous, we have to apply that drug over the skin so that that drug may be reached to systemic circulation that means in blood and from blood it will reach throughout the body as per desirable action and to the site of action respectively. Now in this case, there is most important thing is that the drug should be highly lipid soluble and that drug should have dissolved in lipid so that it will be spread over the skin and that comes through transdermal patches so let's start cutaneous that is highly lipid soluble drug which is applied on the skin the most important criteria for any drug to be applied via cutaneous route of drug administration or via help of transdermal patches is its lipid soluble category that means lipid solubility or we can say lipid lipid solubility or lipophilicity that is the basic criteria which is required for the drug to be a part of transdermal patches and second one that drug administration give you some advantage that is slow and prolonged absorption in this case of cutaneous root of drug administration the drug will be slowly absorbed and the absorption with the prolonged that means it will not fast it will take some time to produce its desirable action and the duration of action may be variable because the release is prolonged and the absorption is prolonged too so these are basic advantage but this advantage can be converted into limitation in few cases so this were some basic point another important point is there drug can be incorporated into ointment and that that can be applied in a specific part of your skin a skin rubbing will increase the absorption what is the meaning of this line see we have so many types of ointment like this is a Vico Narayani but you can use also Volini and different types of ointment like Iodex 2 so this ointment are containing the drug of our choice that has to be applied over the skin so this will be reached to the systemic circulation and in case of rubbing only ointment required rubbing so if we rub that particular ointment over the skin the rubbing process will increase the chances of its absorption due to that will increase the penetrability and that will also increase the heat and that why with the help of heat that may melt and that may easily administer throughout the skin then only that will reach to the blood circulation so these were basic points regarding today's topic that is cutaneous drug of administration now we have to see about their basic advantage what are the advantage of cutaneous drug root of drug administration over oral, over rectal, oral vaginal and any other come in a comparative way. But the first advances says they bypass the first pass metabolism or first pass effect. As we have seen it so many times, the first pass metabolism is responsible for the degradation of drug in some cases. To avoid that degradation via the liver, we have to give some dose drug via different types of administration which will bypass that liver for the metabolism in initial cases. So this will give that advantage that will bypass the first pass metabolism another important advantage is this is convenient and painless this is very convenient no need to go for any rocket science just you have to tear the sticker then you have to apply over the skin but there are some process like you have to wash your particular part of skin with a soap and then you have to dry it completely then only you have to affix or apply or stick that particular patches so that that will give proper effect if the skin is oily and you have not washed it properly then that will be a problem of sticking and that patch may be loosened or that may be get out of the skin so this is basic point you have to keep in mind so this way advantage another important advantage says that will bypass the gastric acid degradation too as like the another one next advantage say ideal for lipophilic drug as I have explained you earlier only those drugs which are lipophilic in nature means lipid loving soluble in lipid only that is applicable for those kind of drug only now coming to the next advantage use for drug having low bioavailability if there is some kind of drug which can be given by oral route of drug administration but if we give that drug via oral route of administration that may be chances of their low bioability or maybe we have so less bioability from that route of drug administration to bypass that particular unwanted condition we have to give that drug via this route of drug administration so that it will reach 
to the blood circulation that is an advantage over different types of administration next one ideal for which quickly eliminated those drug which need to be eliminated quickly those there are two different cases those drug which need to be eliminated quickly in case of unwanted condition then this drug can be applied because you have to just steer that sticker then there will be sudden stop of root uh, there will be sudden stop of uh, their uh, absorption but in this case also where the drug is get eliminated very quickly from your body but that was unintention then in that case we have to give that drug so that the elimination or remaining is depends on your choice in case of drug which is given orally and that may be eliminated as such via urine or feces in that particular problematic case we have to go for the transdermal patches or cutaneous route of drug administration next i want to say self application process is possible and it is very easy unlike the intravenous unlike the intramuscular route of drug administration we do not need or we need do not require any assistance from the under one we can apply this patches or sticker by ourselves so let me explain you few example with the help of diagram then i will show you the some demonstration this is a diagram of transdermal patches what is the meaning of transdermal patches so in this case patch that means a sticking substance which is having a reservoir in that reservoir we have to fix or absorb the drug so that that drug will diffuse accordingly wherever will be applied that particular patches over the skin so this is transdermal patches and this transdermal patches is having different component let me explain the part first the first one this one is drug reservoir drug reservoir means a matrix which will hold or keep the drug of desirable action suppose i have to give belladonna or suppose i have to give some disinfectant or any other things then that drug have to be absorbed in this matrix in this drug reservoir so that that will be diffused accordingly whenever we apply it over the skin so first part is drug reservoir now second part is drug itself what you want to absorb in the matrix that is drug and what is drug for that is drug is agent which is used for the particular type of treatment in case of here topics so that could be any drug which have to be released to the skin so this is drug next one is outer layer the blue line which you are seeing is outer layer that will protect the backflow of drug so if we have placed the drug in reservoir there is chances of backflow means that drug may move from the back side and that may come out of the patches and that will be a spoilage completely that will be of no use so to protect that back release we have to apply a outer layer of film that will protect the back release now next part is porous membrane just beneath this diffusion matrix thus beneath the drug reservoir in green color you have seen this porous membrane membrane having pores so that that membrane will allow this drug to release like this so this will diffuse this will allow the process of diffusion then that drug will go easily this is called diffusion process by help of porous membrane now next part is adhesive this red color is adhesive what is the meaning of adhesive the agent or substance which will allow the sticking process of that particular patch over your skin is called adhesive if we do not stick that over the skin how that particular patch will be remain over the skin for desirable time it will be very fragile and that will be removed from skin if we do some kind of activity so to prevent that uh, unwanted condition we have to apply adhesive tape like sticking substance over the skin and below the transdermal patches and just at the last process this is the blue color that is film which is used to protect the release of particular drug until we have peel it out applied over the skin this is called protective film so this were basic parts and function of transdermal patches now now it's time to explain you this process with the help of some basic example these are not exactly transdermal patches but they very much resemble this process this is a hansaplast as you have used it so many time this is general hansaplast or bandage which we apply whenever there is some kind of uh, ulcer over the skin or some kind of erosion over the skin while playing or doing some other activity so we what we do we tear this stickers and then we get this kind of part this is waterproof so water will not absorb or absorb inside this transdermal patches so this is outer film that will protect the back release of drug and beside this there is two things as you can see this is a white substance this white substance is what is a film which will protect the back release see this is closed condition this will protect the release once we have released this as i am removing this we will have two things as you can see the first is sticking in my finger that is just because of this adhesive so adhesive allow us 
allow this transmembrane patches to stick over the skin now apart from this as you can see this is a yellow substance that like matrix like kind of net or kind of adsorptive particulate this is a drug reservoir in this yellow part the some drug some antiseptic cream or antiseptic liquid or antiseptic gel whatever it is is absorbed is placed once i will clean that surface of my palm or hand and then apply this over the affected part that will stick and that will release the drug medicament slowly from this part so this is sticked and i can move my hand like this and nothing will happen just because of this adhesive so this is basic advantage of this transdermal patches so you can understand this diagram with the help of such kind of plaster and second example is this <coughs> this is belladonna plaster i think you have used this sometime this belladonna plaster is same as like hansa plus this is having belladonna extracts and the back side of this is sticker so if we, i will peel that the sticker will come out like this see as you can see this i can peel this sticker as a belladonna sticker as per your need you have to cut it with the help of scissor and apply it over the cheek over the part of your uh, muscles or wherever you are having pain or mumps or swelling or other type of effect which is expanded inside this packet so you have to cut and just apply that transdermal patches over the particular part of the skin this is not exactly transdermal patch but this resembles this is resembling the exact process of transdermal patch so that you can understand the concept very easily now we have talked about some basic advantage and their process it's time to discuss about their limitation so to see the first limitation say few are allergic to the few are allergic to the patient or few patches are allergic suppose i have stick this places this is non allergic okay no problem but in case of belladonna or in case of some other drug like trans uh, like a tinitroglycerin that may be allergic to some patient so the allergic is possibilities for this kind of uh, transdermal patches or cutaneous root of drug administration next let me say drug must be highly lipophilic as i explained you earlier this is their advantage but that can be limitation only only those drug which are highly lipid soluble can be used in the form of transdermal patches or for the cutaneous root of drug administration other drug water soluble drug will not give that much effect as can, as compared to the lipophilic drug next one is delay in pharmacological action the first line say slow and prolonged absorption so you have to use those drug only which is required to be go slow but if you want faster action this drug root of drug expression is not a suitable choice then you have to go for other alternative like iv im sc or other kind of parenteral so this will give delay in pharmacological action what's the meaning of pharmacological action the action for which you have taken drug is simply known as the pharmacological action suppose i will have some kind of rashes or some kind of uh, scar over the skin so that i can apply such kind of drug or such kind of patches next one say limited to drug of a small dose as you can see in this sticker there is only small drug can be possible to deliver in this patches in this matrix in this reservoir only few drops or few ml of drug will be absorbed and that drug will be released but if i want to give large amount of drug that is not possible via this route of drug administration now next that is example so example explain that which are used under the transdermal patches are nitroglycerin or trinitroglycerin we can say nicotine and scopolamine nitroglycerin trinitroglycerin is used in case of angina and this nicotine is used to cessation of smoking effect and such like scopolamine is for different purpose only so friend that's all for the day thank you very much for watching this video if you want to take a screenshot of this whiteboard section please take a screenshot after some time i will be get aside from this whiteboard section thank you again and please do take care of yourself and please do not forget to give us feedback it's our initiative i am not so expert in this english language i am not so expert in pharmacology but i am trying to give my best so if there any suggestion please give it on the facebook instagram and youtube also thank you